What's up guys, Houndish here, and today I wanted to jump in with a basic guide on how to use the Lecturn of Enchantment on the moon in Shadowkeep. So we're going to talk about all of the lunar rewards, how you can obtain them, how to re-earn them, the materials and currency that you need to know about, as well as the locations for the hidden items and enemies that you have to find in order to complete the weapon essence bounties. And by the way, all of those locations will be timestamped in the gameplay below. But we do have a few other things to talk about in this video to get you initiated with the Lecturn. So guys, if you enjoy this one, a rating below really helps me out. Of course, the Lecturn is unlocked via the story in Shadowkeep. And basically, you go through the campaign and collect various different essences. So you are given them throughout the campaign by following the main quest. And essences work like bounties, so they have their own objectives. And every single one of them has an associated reward from the moon. So for the armor pieces, you basically earn all of the armor essences during the story, and you do need to complete those quests to actually finish the campaign. And then the weapon essences actually drop post-campaign when you're completing new content and activities on the moon. I'll touch on that further in just a moment, but once you earn any of the essences, you can repurchase them at the lectern by using a phantasmal core. And every time you repurchase an essence and earn that piece of gear again, you will get different stat rolls as well as perk rolls when it comes to the weapons. Phantasmal cores are purchased with phantasmal fragments that you earn via bounties and randomly by killing enemies, but also via the weekly bounty that you can get from the lectern. And the core is what you need to repurchase an essence, but to obtain lunar weapons specifically, you basically have to earn the different essences for those as well. So there will be one for each of the lunar weapons, and they drop by completing random activities, moon quests, nightmare hunts, public events, opening chests and things like that. And so basically over time, you will randomly add the ability to actually acquire all of the Shadowkeep weapons by getting the weapon essences dropped while playing on the moon. Weapon essences also have objectives, much like the armor pieces, but as well as kills and things like that, they come with an additional objective to either collect items or to defeat a specific enemy on the moon. So every single one of the weapon quests will have this. For example, the Essence of Vanity is the one I have right here, and this drops the Tranquility Sniper, but it requires me to collect the Horned Wreath in the Chamber of Night. And depending on the weapon you have, you will have a different item and location to actually collect it. So I'm going to leave gameplay at the end of the video with all of the locations that you'll need to know to collect items and to defeat the relevant enemies for the Essence Bounties. I'll also timestamp them in the description, so if you're looking for a specific one, you'll be able to jump ahead to that gameplay. But to list all of the weapons and the essences that you'll have to get dropped randomly to acquire them, Love and Death is the grenade launcher, and this comes from the Essence of Insanity. One small step is the shotgun, and this one comes from the Essence of Rage. And then the Essence of Servitude will drop the Dreambreaker, and this is the legendary fusion rifle. The Machine Gun of Fire Memorial will come from the Essence of Greed. And then Essence of Obscurity will provide the Every Waking Moment SMG. Essence of Vanity will drop the Tranquility Sniper. Essence of Brutality will drop the Loud Lullaby Hand Cannon. And then we have Essence of Jealousy, which drops the Night Terror, that's the sword, as well as Essence of Failure, which drops Arc Logic, the Auto Rifle. So that's an explanation of how the Lectern works in Destiny 2 Shadowkeep. This is going to be the main kind of moon end game way of obtaining gear over time, going for all those juicy stat rolls on the armor, as well as the perk rolls on weapons. And so I hope the video has been useful. Let me know your thoughts about the Lectern and Shadowkeep in general down below. But if you've enjoyed the video, a rating is very much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to get subscribed to see a lot more D2 content. For now though, whatever you guys get up to, I hope you have an awesome day.
Thank you.